Hello Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner again. This time I'm with you for video two. We've already covered entering the school. This one has to do with the wellness checkpoints once you walk into the school and then the way we make ourselves around the building in our hallways, stairwells, and so forth. So as I said, a goal without a plan is just a wish. We're not gonna wish our way through this. We're gonna do a great job following our protocols. Our safety goal is this, Auburn High School students and staff will go home healthy. We do that, we already know we're gonna learn, and, and that's having a good day. Okay, as a reminder, we only have the West Courtyard, and we only have the North Gym Foyer as our main entrances. If you didn't get a watch video one, and you're not sure what I mean by this, you need to go back and watch video one when you're finished up here. Entry time is only 9.20 to 9.35, and that's Tuesday, Thursday if you're hybrid A, and Wednesday, Friday if you're hybrid B. Um, this is the north checkpoint, okay? This is the gym foyer. You can only walk in through those, through the north doors. And when you walk in, you're gonna see kind of three lanes. And we expect, expect people to stay in their lanes and kind of fill in the very next, you know, kind of stand here on these, uh, those, those yellow spots are actually white. I just highlighted them because it's just easier to see on the video. And you'll just, one person at a time, you'll just make your way up to each of these checkpoints. There's gonna be staff members. Um, checking your phones, making sure you've taken care of your attestation. Um, if you've done that, um, you are on your way into the building. If you haven't, they'll do the, the paper screening, basically ask you the two questions and also check your temperature. So we're looking for the phones for the correct date. And if not, we'll do a temperature check. We'll ask you the questions. Uh, we'll record that and then you'll be able to enter the building. Okay. Um, if you are late, okay, you're gonna enter Main Street. I think we've already explained that to you, okay, in the last video. You can only go in through the attendance office. You can see the door right there, it's open. It's gonna be have the stanchions there, it's barricaded. I um, want you not to go into the office. If there's people in front of you, we'll have some, um, those little play spots in there too, so you'll know if people are standing there, you gotta wait outside. Um, and make sure that you show our, our main our attendance office uh, secretary is your phone. They'll get you to class. More than likely, you're going to be late um, because it's after 9:35, and they'll give you a pass. Okay. If you didn't do your attestation, your wellness check, um, they'll check your temperature. They'll ask you the questions, and then they'll send you on your way. If you're late to school for an appointment, this is your entry point. Okay, students and staff are expected to maintain six feet of distancing while at school. This includes during passing times, at the start and end of the school day, and in the bus zones. Those videos will come later. Please follow our foot traffic flow plan, and let's do our part to keep each other safe. Okay. Um, there's going to be uh, three colors of tape on the floor. You're going to see green all over the building. You're going to see some gold. You're going to see very little red. Uh, again, we want to remind you that masks need to stay on, nose and mouth are covered, six foot of distancing always in the halls. Stay to the right in the halls. You'll see what that means here in a few minutes. Be aware and mindful of others, okay? It's very important to really kind of know what's going on in your environment, especially now. Continue moving to your next destination. We're going to use hand sanitizers before we enter classrooms. And uh, remember, it's safety over convenience. So you're gonna see green lines, like I said, uh, those little foot traffic signs, they're actually little feet. Um, that's the direction we should be traveling. You're gonna notice tape on all of our hallways and some of our gathering areas. You're also gonna notice stanchions uh, on some of the corners. And that's just so we don't take corners tight because that's a real convenient thing to do. We just gotta make sure we're keeping the people who are coming from the other direction, they know they're not gonna bump into anybody. Okay, so talked about that. And if you see green lines, you stay to the right. You just keep moving. Pretty simple. Okay, what if I have to turn left? You wait till you get to one of those yellow tape on top of the green. And that's going to mean because you probably have a classroom just to the other side of the hallway there. So you could be walking down this way and then you're going to turn left right there into your classroom. We don't want you hanging out in here. We don't want you stopping there. We want you to make sure that people who are coming your direction, you're giving them 10 feet before you start the turn. Maybe wave at them, give them a thumbs up, let them know what you're doing. Um, if you're coming from the other way um, and you see someone making that left-hand turn, just stay to the right and just keep going. You don't need to stop. There's plenty of room, okay? We just got to keep moving. 
Uh, we notice some schools are using stanchions in their hallways and they make kids go all the way down to one end, come all the way back. And we, and we think we don't need to do that, okay? We're feeling like our students are gonna follow the plan, do the right things, and, we, and we'd rather coach you up kind of doing it that than, than having all these um, stanchions in our hallways. Okay, if you see red, that means you don't enter, okay? If you see it, you just hang it left, go back from where you came from, um, you just got to find a different way. There's a couple areas in the school. One are basically kind of the custodial, custodial area. Another one is at the top of the stairs at the north end of the 200 balcony classrooms. And uh, we're only going to have traffic come up the stairs. We're not going to have any traffic go down the stairs. So if you happen to be on the right-hand side of that hallway, remember, we're going to turn right, and you just have to do a U-turn down there. Okay. Okay, so those are kind of the three uh, concepts for how we're going to handle our foot traffic around the building, and I think we're going to do a great job. When you're exiting classrooms, you're always going to turn right, okay? Always going to turn right. Well, Mr. Gardner, what happens if my classroom is next door right to the left? You're always going to turn right, okay? We're not going to make you go all the way down the hall and come all the way back to a classroom that was 20 feet away. We're going to ask you to use the yellow we're just going to call them U-turn lanes or turn lanes, okay? So you would do that, and then you can double back, and it's just a little bit of inconvenience, but again, we want to keep things safe. Okay, so uh, we're just going to follow some simple foot traffic rules, not a lot different than when you're driving a car. If you do that, we're going to stay to the right. We're going to keep our distance. We're going to yield to oncoming traffic, keep our distance. We're going to stay in our lanes. We're going to keep our distance. We're going to keep moving. We're not going to stop now unless we have to make a left-hand turn. Keep your distance. Stay masked and hands to self. And we're going to keep our distance. We're going to walk and continue walking until we get to our destination. But we are going to maintain our distance. Okay. So there's a question there. You already know the answer. Uh, teachers will use a six-foot exit marker for leaving class, and that way we can head out into the hallways and kind of a um, in safe six foot intervals. Stu students nearest the door will exit first, furthest away will go last. And that's the basic concept that's going to happen in all classrooms. Okay, how do we show Troy? How do we show being together? People can move on the right safely and with confidence, uh, keep proper six foot distancing, stay on the right side of the green traffic lines. How do we show respect? To turn left safely at designated goal lines, yield to oncoming. Okay, we're going to respect oncoming foot traffic. We're going to give them 10 feet, maybe give them a little hand signal, give them a thumbs up, maybe wave at them so they know what you're doing when crossing over. Always exit your classrooms by turning right. That helps us keep organized. And we're going to use the right side of the stairs during passing. There's only one staircase we can't go down, and that's the one at the north balcony of the 200 level. Hall passing with space, so you want to widen out if you have to go past someone who's got to slow down to make that left and we're going to continue to walk to our sign location, okay? Um, how is this about you? We want you to be on time to ensure success and achievement. Be purposeful to begin your learning with others. And as I said in the last video, we're always going to end it with a little bit of information about COVID. If at any time you're experiencing any of the symptoms associated with COVID-19, it's better to get checked. It's better to be safe, you guys. So ask your teacher, ask, your, ask an adult if you can go see the health tech or nurse in the counseling office. You're going to need to enter the back door to the counseling center, and we will have signage. And in the last video, we're going to give you a lot more information about how that's going to look. I know this, uh, one of the schools I visited back in February, they've been doing this for six weeks already. And uh, as of that point, they haven't had to have any students enter their uh, nurse's office for COVID experiences because they've done such a great job of screening and the families and students have done such a great job of staying home when they're not feeling well. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. That ends video two of the series of five. Thank you.